nje kidogo ya jiji la Kampala wankuru kuku ambako ndiko klabu ya Express FC Square Pass Moto wankuru kuku boys mayuni his voice captured the imagination of thousands anakwenda pale Moses Ndaula wa Express FC anatoa pasi moja nzuri kabisa kwake huyu mchezaji ambaye anajulikana kama his knowledge of the players seemed immense Isaac Nkada Isaac Nkada anakwenda moja mbili tatu anakuja hapa toa kivumbi anachukua mpira mpira anaweka pale katikati anatembeza anatembeza anakwenda moja mbili tatu anatoa pasi lakini anakuja hapa Sula Kato wa Sports Club Villa toa kivumbi kwake Paula Sule V8 Paula Sule anakwenda moja mbili tatu anakwenda kwake huyu mchezaji ambaye anajulikana Msisi Majidi Msisi Majidi anakwenda moja mbili tatu anapiga gong 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 goli From the 1980s to the early 2000s Mike Arereng gave sports commentary in Kiswahili that thrilled his audiences. Jina langu naitwa Mike Arereng mwana michezo wako. Doing a commentary first of all you need to have speed you need to to cram the name of the players you have to know about the geography of the stadium avoid taking beer avoid taking whiskey avoid taking wine you can take soda or you can drink water knowledge of the beautiful game was key for this sports club villa lifetime member those days you must go and see the and meet the team manager of both clubs some team managers were rough some of them were very humble but they will never give you the lineup until when it's only 30 minutes before the game and you have to cram that was the challenge arereng says the best thing about his career which ended in 2018 was the extensive continental travels West Africa I went to Central Africa I traveled to Ethiopia I traveled to Southern Africa Besides football commentary Arereng was president Tito Kelo's speech writer in 1988 in appreciation for his commentary Salim Saleh who was the army commander at the time gave him three crates of beer and 200,000 shillings The next year, General David Tinyefuza topped it up by giving him five crates of beer and more money. He says that in October 1990, on the night before Major General Frederick Jema left to invade Rwanda, he visited Villa Club and bought large amounts of beer for the fans. Rijema was a renowned SC Villa supporter. His fluency in Kiswahili comes from the fact that he was born in Tanzania to Ugandan parents and went to school in Kenya. When I was still young, I used to play soccer. I was a goalkeeper. I used to play in Zambia. You know, in Zambia has produced so many uh, sports men and sports women. There were other commentators who spoke to his soul and led him to applying for a job at Radio Uganda where he began working in June 1979. The late Francis Ojuya who used to work for Radio Uganda, Charles Biekwaso, actually he was one of my mentors. The late Faustin Mzungukanga, he was also my mentor. The late James Opoka, uh, the late Patrick Luandaga and Edis, Edis, the late Edisef who passed on. Uh, last week Arereng's first commentary was in 1982 during the East and Central Africa Senior Challenge Cup held at Nachivubo and Bugemba stadiums Anapiga pale mpira lakini ndio hivyo anapiga unakwenda juu 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 mbinguni karibu na Mwenyezi Mungu When I went back to the radio station ah I was welcomed in a big way because even the bosses there they said you are the best commentator After 27 years of commentary, Arereng left Radio Uganda and joined Kampala African Radio as a programs manager. Later, he became a stranger covering the Ituri conflict in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo in 2001, where he almost lost his life. He later worked at CBS Radio as a sports commentator and WBS TV as head of Swahili service. In 2008, he joined Channel Africa a government owned South African radio station as executive producer i covered the the world cup soccer 
when it was being hosted in South Africa. Then I also covered the Africa Cup of Nations. I also covered the ANC Delegates Conference. Arereng recently received the Lifetime Achievers Award for his services to the sports world. While he keeps himself busy okay, now one, with farming and construction, he has other hobbies that include dancing. <laughs> This one is called Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.